fingers crossed. <laughs> Now, one thing that's a little cool about Starship and it's different from Falcon 9 is... At T-Zero, that 40-second hold is super helpful. Um, if we need to, for example... Um... We're just... Clock is rolling. T-minus 30 seconds. T-minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. We have the buff. Keep the pitching down We are T plus 40 seconds into the flight of Starship 33 Raptor engines powering the first stage. Power and telemetry nominal. We've heard power and telemetry nominal call out. We're heading downrange over the Gulf of Mexico. Tells us Starship is through the period of greatest stress on the way to space. Now the next major event is hot staging in just over 90 seconds from now. Engine power continues to look nominal on 33 Raptor engines. We're about to shut down the first stage and perform staging. Let's watch and listen. And acquisition of Houston, Signal, Houston, and New Orleans. Booster engine cut off. Stage separation. Boost back shot up. We're here in the cheering. The first ever successful hot stage for SpaceX's Starship. Super Heavy Booster, and as you can see, the Super Heavy Booster has just experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly. However, our ship is still underway with ship all avionics, six. Power and telemetry nominal. And we just heard, we knew that there was a chance that the booster would not survive, but we're going to take that data and figure out how we can make the booster better for the next hot stage. Yeah, that hot staging put a lot of load on the top of the booster. And of course, it flipped around there, a lot of dynamic stuff happening. But ship is still going strong. Yeah. And it's now, if the booster had survived, uh, we would be uh, around the time where it would be uh, getting ready to land, performing its uh, re-entry. But it unfortunately did not survive. Uh, that being said, that's OK. It survived several Turn seconds. Right after uh, hot staging, so we're going to take that data and improve the hot staging sequence and, and probably improve the hardware itself uh, for the next flight. John Esperger back here in Hawthorne at our webcast desk. We have lost the data from the second stage. We had heard a call out that we were internal guidance, which means we were getting near the end of the approximately six minute burn of Starship. But we haven't uh, gotten any more data since then. 
So we think we may have lost the second stage. So we would not be into coast phase. We wouldn't be able to come back in an hour or so uh, and possibly get ready for reentry. However, what we do know right now is we had an on-time launch at seven o'clock. Uh, we got through the boats. First stage looked beautiful with 33 Raptor engines firing. We got the hot staging, you know, the thing that we really wanted to see and impressed. We saw the separation, we saw the flip maneuver, we saw the light up of the six Raptor engines on Starship and it headed away. Everything really looked good. But what we do believe right now is that the automated flight termination system on second stage appears to have triggered very late in the burn as we